More than 20,000 residents have had to flee as wildfires spread through Italy and Greece. Some have been forced to make, take matters into their own hands, doing what they can to protect their homes. Look, look, look. In roads, fires have triggered a state of emergency. No, now everyone it. must join the fight. Why do you come on your own? Yes, because I saw this. Yeah. Yes, I saw this and when it's small, uh, after it can be big, so better when it is small. First, Alex tries to smother smaller flames with his shovel. When that fails, he uses bottled water in a desperate attempt to stop the fire. And this is a desperate situation. This is what happened in his neighborhood yesterday after a small fire spread. Oh no, it's gone more. But it's already too late. The flames are growing. Then, in the nick of time, reinforcements arrive. For now, Alex's home is safe. This is now a really tough battle because pockets of fire keep breaking out across this island and it's stretching everyone to keep on top of them. It's a 24-7 battle with thousands of volunteers helping hundreds of firefighters protect their businesses and homes. These blazes have triggered more than 30,000 evacuations, including thousands of tourists helped to flee the flames. This has been a very difficult period. It's difficult for those Greeks who've lost homes and livelihoods, uh, but the outpouring of human sympathy and support that Greeks on roads have shown has, I been, think, been genuinely heartwarming. And wildfires aren't just challenging Greece. In Croatia, crews tackle blazes near Dubrovnik. In Sicily, they've killed three people. 34 have died in Algeria. As the world heats up, more lives and livelihoods will be put at risk.